Alrighty, so now we've done everything. Well, let's get round to putting this tyre back on the bike. This will be the interesting part. And so we are going to put a little bit to put a little bit of grease on the bearings as it says in the destructions So said a little bit of grease. On the surfaces of the bearings. say right was there anything else grease wise clean screw four and the wheel spindle grease wheel spindle slightly okay so we need a bit of grease there and we need to clean this nut. Okay. Let's see if we can remember how to do this uh, give them calipers a quick calipers a quick bite down it's good One spicer. As requested. Get this back in 
here. I can use the wooden end. Can't be. Screw back on. As such, no, you can't see it, but hey, it's going on. Let's just move a couple of little bits so we can put the calipers. back on. Hopefully you can see what's going on there. Pop that on there a second and pop this one back on there a second as well. So I get a couple of turns on that. Right let's have a look. Jack up the front wheel, inner torque, insert the wheel screw more. Mount and tighten screw four. Yep, we can do that when I drop it back down. spindle should be greased. Okay, so I can just whip that back off. Just whip that screw back out. It was only finger finger tight. Apparently this does need to have there you come. Apparently this does need to have some grease on the threads. Um, as you wish grease on threads. And yes, the caliper bolts do need a little splash of Loctite. So we'll have to go and get that out of the cupboard because I don't have it in here. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so uh, I don't have any Loctite to put on the, the bolt, so I'll come back to that. I'll get some and uh, I'll put that back on. Um, glued my little reflector back on. Uh, so, what we're going to do is tighten up the bolts on the calipers. Uh, we'll just make sure they're sitting square by... Uh, pump in the brake lever a little bit. Let's just get them as 
so I can feel like it's starting to bite me. Right? So they should be nice and square on the discs. Now, if the book says uh, 45 newton meters of torque for these bolts, and I've got my torque wrench already set that to 45. Oh, that's foot pounds. So, let's just torque these up. side perfect so that's that's them done Calipers sorted. Let's put the wheel speed sensor back on. Uh, ding, 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 this one. Let's just pop this. Back to where it should be. Speed sensor on. Uh, only thing to do now. Is to drop it off here. And tighten up. The nut on that side. I think, let's just check. Okay, yep. Drop this off the front. Good job. Now we can tighten this nut. Just go and see if I can find if I have a socket that size. I might well have in my other box. Let me go and investigate and I will return. So I did. It was, I did find the right one. That was 
a 32mm socket uh, for that and the same again let's just swap it around so I come this side and I can be pushing down on it so again 45 newton meters of torque for this We go. Perfect. 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 Quick clean up there. So the book now said, let's bring you with me a moment. Now it's getting pretty. Uh, pretty darker so I'm just reading the book out uh, we've tightened the front nut sorted uh, we've done the brake calipers we've done the wheel speed sensor screw front wheel speed sensor 10 newton meters of torque we did that by eye take the motorcycle off the front lifting gear okay so it wants me to take it off the rear um, off the rear lifting gear let's just wake you back up again that wants me to take it off the rear lifting gear, compress the front suspension a little bit, uh, just to straighten everything out. We've still got the, the thingy bob down, so that's okay. So if we bring that back off the front lifting gear, or the rear even, Apparently everything now straightens out and screw fork stub 8 15 newton meters of torque where's the torque wrench gone okay bring you down a bit don't need that We'll bring this back down to 15. That, that, we set that. We should now, in theory, be golden. Not bad at all. Alrighty, so uh, that's everything done, talked up. Uh, we just have a quick check of the manual. 
uh, installing the front wheel. Uh, so a quick check of the manual. We'll see what we've got here. Uh, we check the wheel bearing for damage or wear. Um, clean and lube all the shaft. Inserted the spacers, yes. Yeah. Uh, cleaned the screw, greased the spindle, greased the screw. Uh, talked up that one, we did. The brake calipers are done and talked. Um, we eyeballed the torque on the wheel speed sensor. Uh, yep, yeah, straightened up the forks and tightened the screws on the fork stubs. That's it, done. So, there we go, guys and girls, nice and steady. Um, Nice and steady pace, nothing that we did uh, too quickly to overlook stuff, but yeah, there we go. Front wheel changed, front wheel and tyre changed on the uh, on the bike. So the next one, uh, it's probably going to get a, bit, a little bit too dark for me to do it today, but the next one we'll get the rear wheel done, we'll get that off, and we'll get that changed in the, uh, in the same manner. Um, so now, looks like I've got a bit of video editing to do. And if I stay out this way, you'll be able to see me. Uh, but yeah, got a little bit of video editing to do now. Um, yeah, I know I haven't been um, posting videos the last couple of weeks, but hey, things have been pretty busy and the weather's getting a bit worse, so I've not been out for the last couple of weekends on the bike, but uh, we'll make something up to tie us over over the winter. Um, but yeah, there you go. Hope you found that helpful. Uh, pretty pleased. Pretty pleased. Glad I can do it. And if I can, you can. So, mm. thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you on the rear wheel. Laters.